Thank you uh, so much uh, for coming in. I'm sure this is going to mean a lot to all the people around Australia um, that you did take the time. Uh, I realize it's a very hectic period for you now, uh, well, for all of you concerned, I suppose. But uh, it is nice that you came in. Your feelings at this moment, I'd be very interested to know uh, how this struck you. Being a country person yourself, you know, and seeing those areas devastated mm. must be a, a real shock to you. Well, it's not only the, the country areas, because quite a lot of it's close to the cities, mm. and it starts in the Adelaide Hills, and um, I haven't uh, got to the Dandenongs yet, but it goes, you know, right through. Yes. And there are major fires uh, close to Adelaide, uh, around Mount Gambia, where they've still got great difficulty in the pine forests. Uh, it's still a light, and if it's hot tomorrow with a wind, it'll be away again. Mm. Then in my own electorate, there were seven people killed there. Um, Is this the worst and, uh, you've ever seen? It's, uh, it's over a much bigger area. Mm. I mean, we've had very bad fires uh, close to Melbourne or in the Western District. But I think this is the first time you've had, uh, you know, literally nearly all of Southern Australia at one time in the one day uh, with uh, a great many uh, people killed, a great many people injured, uh, thousands of stock lost, thousands, I don't know, I told 2,000 houses uh, burned. We, we, we flew along in the helicopter on the southern coast around Anglesey and Lawn. And I don't know what it was like, as though a, a panzer division had been through, but every house was flattened. Mm. Those people, I understand, had to go down to the beach for safety and things at Lawn. They were talking about that. So, uh, you know, we even have people here yes. who were um, a, a, a second away from having their houses burnt, mm. uh, right, right down here in Melbourne. So it's very close to home here as well. well you, see, it, it, you know, you, you go to an area where there are a few houses and one will survive and the ones each side of it will be burnt. And uh, you see a mother with a couple of kids, and were you here or were you away? No, we were here. Well, what happened? They put blankets around themselves and, or mattresses against the windows and stayed like that for half an hour and hoped the fire had passed by. And uh, We have a lady yeah. coming on here in a, in a few moments that's going to tell us a story that would just absolutely astound mm. you. She, she lost one child for an entire evening mm. and thought the child had... Well, she'll tell them yeah. when she goes out. Tell the judges. Well, what will transpire now? How, will, how is the government going to react to something? What do you do now? Uh, what's well, the first step? A number of things have already been done. Um, there are routine measures of cooperation between the Commonwealth and the state when this happens. And the first thing to do is to try and relieve immediate and personal hardship. Hmm. And I've uh, stationed an officer from my department, both with the Premier's Department in South Australia and here with uh, Premier Kane. And uh, the first job is to you know, see if governments need to do more in relation to immediate hardship. Mm. Then the, the slightly longer term thing is to assess the extent of the damage and what needs to be done about it. There are a number of things that uh, governments you know, agree to as a matter of course in terms of relief, uh, but uh, the cost on state governments, on local governments for roads, bridges, and this mm. sort of thing, and the enormous cost on individuals, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be untold millions. I don't know what it'll be. And, uh, the, of course, the repercussions of something like this isn't really going to be felt until maybe a few months from now, in a year from now, when, when, when um, the productivity of those areas is not mm. felt any longer. Uh, that well, can also be dangerous. In farming areas, that'll be felt straight away. Mm. But around Mount Gambia, which is a, a, a pine forest area, um, they've lost 25% of their timber reserves oh, and some some of the the, the, the uh, stands of timber they've lost are 20 25 years old just due to be harvested and uh, you know it's flattened there's nothing there and uh, uh, you know it's going to take a bit longer to assess the economic consequences of that and employment uh, consequences for Mount Gambier and the timber industry around there because um, you know there's the prospect of running short of, of timber and in a few years' time. Well, it is. I, it's the worst I've seen. I've been here 18 years. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Did, did you visit the areas as well, Mrs. Fraser? Yes, I did. Did you talk to people there? How do they react yes, to you? Did, it, did they ask you or did they appeal to you? I just talked to the women in one of the areas um, there's, where there's a centre and a television. I mean, a, uh, I don't know whether I'm here or there. No, it's okay. The static. It's <laughs> no, we, we went to a centre in, um, in Panmure which, where the Red Cross were operating and the emergency services were operating, and I saw a lot of women working there and in South Australia. And really, you can only look at that country and all you want to do is just howl like the rest of Australia. Mm. 
Carl, you rise up. Well, uh, as a way of just uh, winding us up, I know you're busy, and like I said, I, we appreciate more than you will ever know having you come in here. Uh, sir, could I ask you, uh, mm -hmm. would you just make a direct appeal to people to contribute uh, to this and uh, to this cause and to give what they can? For well, yes, I, I'd certainly be very happy to do that. There are many things that governments will have to do and governments will be doing and uh, we'll be discussing with both state governments uh, you know, precisely the kind of role, the things that we'll need to support. But uh, this appeal is about Australia doing something extra. Uh, I think uh, both governments have put money towards the appeal. Uh, late last night I was told by people in Adelaide that they wanted to launch an appeal for South Australia. Could it be made tax deductible? Um, I said immediately, yes, it could, of course. So it is tax deductible, but it is in a very worthwhile cause, and I believe that uh, Australians will be very, very generous on this particular occasion. Australians have always been very good givers uh, when there's been a major disaster, and now's an opportunity to help their fellow Australians and to do something more than governments can do. Mm. Because if, you know, if everyone joins in and uh, everyone uh, makes those who've been hurt feel that other people are sympathetic, that other people are concerned, I think it, uh, well, maybe it eases the pain a bit. It certainly makes it a little bit easier. And so I hope everyone will give to this appeal very generously. And I'd like to thank the station for organising it. I thank you very much, sir. Thank you. And we, uh, it was our pleasure, believe me. Bert, you were Thank right? you, Mr Fraser. But you don't have to get on your knees, just uh, a simple hold. No, it's, 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 it's to you. Oh, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Right. Fraser, good to see you here. Hello, Mrs. Fraser. Nice to see you too. Uh, did you enjoy Bob Hawke handling the audio then? Yes. <laughs> 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 he rushed in. Campaign. Yeah, used to it, are you? Yeah. Used to it in election well, campaigns, yes, right. Pulling the plug. Yes. Pulling the plug, it's called, yeah, for sure. Uh, we have a total here, Don. It's a 9.30 total. I think you'll be interested too, Mr oh, Prime sure, Minister. Yes. Uh, I know there is an updated one, but this is the one you can see visually. $234,762. That's as of 9.30 this evening. That doesn't include government. That doesn't include government. No, that's that just doesn't include government. With a, with, a, um, with a total like that, there's no telling where we can go. We are expecting big things out of this. To the both of you, our deepest and most sincere thanks, and I suppose on behalf of the people of Australia as well. Thank you very well, much, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, governments are allowed to contribute to this appeal as well. And uh, the South Australian government has made $200,000 available to its appeal, and mm. the Commonwealth is matching that, and I discussed that with John Bannon. The uh, Victorian government has acted generously in relation to the appeal, but there have been more people killed in this state. The fire is covering a bigger area than in South Australia. And the Commonwealth contribution to this particular part of the appeal, uh, I know the Commonwealth bill ultimately will be very much larger than, than mm. this or the appeal. Mm. Uh, the contribution will be 400000 so you can oh, add that to the Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Yeah, nice to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. We shall return. We got a lot of